Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. I wanted to make a video about free speech, the news media, and how the lawyers that are within corporations and they're creating policies, the lawyers are trying to tell you what is hate speech, what is not hate speech. On the platform recently, I got docked from Twitter for uh, 24 hours. I'm not allowed to tweet. All because I tweeted out these words to the Taliban leader. I told him, shut your mouth, you're a kafar. That means, be quiet, you're a non-believer. And I said, what makes you a non-believer is you deny the fact that God gave a lamb for sacrifice for sin, and it was the only begotten word that he spoke, light that he gave as a gift to Miriam. An infidel is someone who hates God, or denies God is an infidel. There's a difference between a kafar and an infidel. Tried to explain to the Taliban. Uh, that is what an infidel is. So basically I said, you don't even know the meaning of your own books. And he's a kafar because you deny that. Plain simple fact. I don't care what your book Muhammad said, Allah takes up no sons. That is not a, a proper translation, nor is it a proper writing. When you call Adam a son, you and I are all sons and daughters of God. So you can't say that Allah does not take up sons and daughters. There is a more specific meaning to that, which goes back to the Gnostics, who, who say that Jesus didn't die. He got instead married to Mary Magdalene and had kids. That's a Gnostic belief that started to come into the Islamic world. That's when Muhammad had to say that. So, like I said before, shut your kafar mouth. So I got docked for 24 hours because of that. But let's get on the actual thing of free speech. Now, if I decide to take a flag and I want to burn that flag, right? Then somebody comes along and they says, oh, that's a hate speech. So they want to ban a video or they ban the, that uh, flag burning. Yet, here's a great example. So, for instance, I'm the one that did it, I posted it, I burned it, I posted it, so on and so forth, it's me. However, does the media, when they get a news story, they go and they film it. Let's say there's a burning of an American flag. Somebody in another nation is burning an American flag saying death to America. The media, in reality, is a person like me who is posting a video they remade or recorded and they're showing you and I on the TV, but nobody is calling it hate speech, are they? Now, what the media will also do for the lawyer is they will make sure that they put quotes around what someone says at, when they're filming it, or they will claim, have a disclaimer thing where it says that this was posted or given out by such and such person. Sometimes they don't like to reveal sources of the things that they get out. Also, that is there. It all goes back to that law shit. But here's what I have a problem with, with this free speech of policies and nonsense apps. If the media, who shows you anything to begin with, you wouldn't know what's going on in another fucking nation had not you seen it on the news. So these people are the actual ones that are in the pot, but they're only getting that which is called news because people like me and you and the rest of the normal people in society are doing something about something for them to have news to put it out there. Whether I put it out there on an app and now you want to call it hate speech, the news media is doing it 24-7. That's what is news. So what is a journalist? A journalist is you, me, them. Everyone can be a journalist because what is journalism is telling a story. Do you have a story to tell? I have a story. We wake up every day to have a story to tell. Yet for some weird reason, policy through applications and in the government system of laws are trying to tell you what you can and cannot say. Whether you cuss at somebody or whether you give somebody a slang derogatory terminology for their race or any of that, it doesn't fucking matter. Free speech is free speech. Hate speech comes along with free speech because what is free speech sometimes will offend and cause hate to another group. Even if it's truth or whether it's a lie, people need to have more 
involvement in it. For instance, if I don't tell the people the Taliban are wrong and this is the true meaning of those words and it's all taken out of context, people will only believe what it is that this group is feeding you. And what if this group is constantly build, killing and beating people and forcing people and so on and so forth? Do you understand? So there has to be a open, 100% open. It don't matter. Fuck you. I call you a fucking name. Sticks and stones. Didn't they teach you this in school? Six sticks and stones may break my bones. That's a physical assault. That's assault. That's jail time. That's fine. That's a big, big problem to do such sticks and stones. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never harm me. It doesn't matter. So if somebody wants to hate on me, call me a name. They do it all the time. Take your medicine, you crazy fuck. Oh, I'm going to get mad and tell you, oh, hate speech, you're calling me. No, I don't give a rat's fucking ass. They do it, they do it. It just shows their ignorance, not mine. Understand what I'm saying? So, but you can slowly are seeing that the minute that they start to put a muzzle on your mouth in any way, they're already doing it. They're already doing it. But I'm trying to explain to everyone, the minute that you allowed them to start doing it, is bad news. Now, when, then, then there's the flip side. They'll sit there and not let you do what you do, but if they are making money or profiting off music, entertainment, TV, or, or movies, or some other thing, do you see how they protect that? And that is played. That's shown at the movie theater for eight, ten dollars or twelve dollars, whatever you want to pay for your ticket. This is there. That's there. Because everybody's profiting. Somebody's profiting off of it. So that's that's okay to do. But but for someone like me to teach a truth about something or what else, it's not okay. You can clearly see the manipulation and the unequality of justice that is within everybody's society. And they're so dumb that they don't realize that this is what's going on. Until somebody comes along and tells them, hey, the media would only be able to get news for you to see. And sometimes what the media is showing on the news, you're not even allowed to put as your own opinion about something on an application? Well, my God, then the media shouldn't be putting shit on the fucking news for me to have to think about or see or know about or any of that kinds of stuff. Now, should they? Or should they? You understand? So, if they're allowed to do it, I believe 100% anybody should use whatever they want. It don't matter. I'd fuck you and your fucking billionaire money because the billionaires are wanting to own this shit. So the billionaires get to do with their bullshit, but I can't? Fuck you. You see what I'm trying to tell everybody? It gets deep. I have a lot. I, I have even deeper I could get into all this of the, the human psyche of how it's working, how it's manipulated by all these things. But it's, but it's like we've been born into it. So it's something that has become normalized. So you don't even think about this type of stuff. When it's necessary, we really should be thinking about all of this. So they're allowed to show all this perversion and everything else. There's you got drag queens, all the other goofy shit, news media covering it, everybody fighting and arguing about who's what, who's where, who's there, who's over here, right? All this nonsense shit. Rather than, hey, the fuck you guys doing? What, what kind of work you do? What, what are you doing? What are you working? How are you how are you using your life when you're doing what you're doing? Sure, there's many things that you can fucking do in the goddamn world. God gave everything for free will to do and take and eat from. But he did warn us not to do of such things. And if you do it, you get punished for it. But you can't take it away from him. God never took it away from them to do to begin with. They do it. You should be punished for it. Suppressing us from making fun of someone who is committing a sin is the same as condoning the sin, saying it's okay for you to fucking do. When in reality, if kids are out playing and some kids are doing something to other kids they don't like, those kids usually gang up on the one they don't like and they say, good, we don't want to play with you. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So now you're, 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 you're censoring the, the aspect of the human conscious to understand that when you do such actions, people don't want to play with me. Shalom. Assalamu alaikum. If you do not become like a little child, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven.